I don't know if you've heard of a YouTuber named Ben of the Week. If you haven't, don't feel bad. I hadn't heard of him either until I saw a video podcast interview he did with Colin and Samir. Ben is a, a young dude. I think he's 23, 24, 25. I can say that because I'm an older dude. And while his content isn't really the kind of content I enjoy watching, I applaud what he's doing. But what really struck me, and them as well, them being Colin and Samir, is when he started talking about his production. They were they were talking to him about that. And his style is, is what's kind of being referred to now as lo-fi. You now, with my TV background, it's hard to under produce. In the TV world, everything had to be perfect. And I didn't work in news. I worked more in creative services. We would promote the station, you know, like like every three years at a Fox station, we would have the Super Bowl. We'd put a commercial in the Super Bowl. Holy cow, we worked months on it. Months. On a 30-second promo for whatever show we had or something like that. Everything was just perfected to the nth degree. When Ben starts talking about him being lo-fi, it really got my attention. Like, for example, he mentioned that he's recently just started using a mic, lavalier mic. Now, you know, I'm using a uh, Hollyland mic for this. It's one of their new mics, the Hollyland uh, Lark Max, I believe. But he's been just using the audio on what he's recording on because in his words, if it ain't broke, why fix it? He edits on Final Cut Pro. He loves Final Cut Pro. He said to him, it's basic and that's all he needs. Personally, I, I, I edit on Final Cut Pro. When people say, well, it's not really a professional editing software, it's like, oh, you know, shut up. If you edit on Premiere, if you edit on CapCut, if you edit on DaVinci Resolve, if you edit on Filmora, good for you. He's also a solo content creator. I'm a solo content creator. So when somebody says that, my ears always perk up because that's who I'm, I'm trying to help as well with my content because we have to figure it out, right? He would rather just edit it himself. Uh, Sorry about that. I'll probably edit that out. He likes to edit. He doesn't really want to turn it over to somebody and he doesn't want to try and explain his style. The mistake I think I see a lot of brand new creators do is they go, well, I can't edit, so I've got to hire an editor. Here's the problem with that. You don't, you don't know really what you're asking for. Somebody may show you a, a, an amazing sizzle reel, we used to call it, and they may be a great editor, but you don't know how to direct them. I am a huge proponent, proponent for learn how to edit, even basic. If you're on a Mac, use iMovie. If you're on a PC, I don't know what they have there. Just get something free, but before you start turning it over, at least learn the basics of it. You don't need to be some huge advanced editor, but just edit. But here was the part that really blew my mind. Ben shoots everything on his iPad. <laughs> and when he said that, Colin and Samir was like, and Film on your iPad? That's if I'm at home, I sounds film on my absurd. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> they were like shocked because, you know, content creators don't use iPads. We use cameras. Heck, people don't even like to use their iPhone. Dude, this, this will shoot 4K and this is the 13 Pro. He shoots on his iPad because it's easy. It has a bigger screen. He said the reason he doesn't shoot on his phone is because the screen's too small. He's okay with being lo-fi, as it's called, using his iPad, and he just plugs his lavalier into that. So the next time you're stressed about what you need to create, think of Ben of the Week sitting there in his room or wherever he is on location using his iPad to shoot something. You don't need a lot of fancy gear. To prove a point, I shot this entire video on my iPad. How about that? And we all lived happily ever after.